Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Kids Worship Service. My name is Reverend Karen, and as always, I'm so excited to be here with you today, sharing the good news of Jesus, and also just spending some time talking about our faith, singing some songs, and praying together. We are in the season of Pentecost, and the season of Pentecost is known as what they call ordinary time. This is the time where we as disciples of Jesus work and grow and learn about our faith so that we can be the messengers of the good news of Jesus Christ here on earth. So today we are going to talk a bit more about Jesus. Ha, huh, it's great, it's a great topic. Um, but I wonder, I have a question for you. I wonder how did you learn about God? How are you learning about who God is and, and what God does and, and how do we know who Jesus is? Like, how do we figure this out? How do we know? How did you come to know who Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit are? How did you come to know that? Did you hear it from a friend? Did you learn about it going to school, what some people call Sunday school, where we we go on Sundays and we head off and, and learn about what Jesus teaches and who Jesus was. For me, it was through singing songs. That's how I learned about who Jesus was and what Jesus did. I, I can remember things better when I sing. Um, for others, they've learned about it through prayer. Um, maybe some people have read the Bible. Um, I don't know if any of you have a Bible at home and if you started to read it, but if you want to learn about who Jesus is, within the Bible, there's a couple sections. The f it's kind of like a library. The first section is what we call the Old Testament or Hebrew Scriptures because it tells the story of the Hebrew people. The New Testament is telling the story of Christianity, about Jesus, and it starts with the Gospels. And the Gospels are the places that we hear about what Jesus did, who Jesus was, all of those wonderful things. And there are four in the Bible. We've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And those are not the first ones written. There are many more Gospels written, but those are the ones that we've chosen to include in the Bible or the people who created the Bible chose to include. Um, Mark is actually the earliest written one, even though it's not the first one that, that starts the, the New Testament. We start with Matthew and then we go to Mark. And Matthew and Luke are very similar in their writings. And then there's John, the Gospel of John. John tells the stories from first person. So you hear more about, um, you hear Jesus speaking more really is what you hear. So we're going to talk today about who Jesus is. And like I said, one of the ways we learn about Jesus is by reading the Bible. Another way is by singing songs. Another way is by our experience, what we do in the world and how we live. So, um, I'm gonna encourage you to be an investigator this week. I want you to investigate and figure out how you came to know Jesus and what are the pieces you don't know about Jesus that you want to know. So if you wanna add questions in the comment box, let me know that you're here worshiping with me. I would love that. Um, I always like to know who's around and what's happening. But I wanna start, I guess we've already started, but I want to now pass the peace with you. So Jesus taught us to pass the peace from one to another. Jesus said, peace be with you. And you respond with, and also with you, because we are in a relationship. So peace be with you, and also with you. Thank you. Love it. Um, shall we sing a song about Jesus? Uh, let's do that. Um, have you ever heard the song, Jesus Loves Me? This was a song I learned when I was very young. Um, <clears throat> the words are, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. 
Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Um, I believe that at the very beginning of the pandemic, I think one of the very first videos I did, I washed my hands to this tune and I was teaching all of you. So hopefully you remember that. Hopefully you have been washing your hands and singing this song. I did a little more jazzy and fast, but we'll, we'll get through it. So... for me but I hope you can all sing it. Jesus loves me this I know That's one of the first songs I learned about Jesus. So it says right in the words that Jesus loves me and I know this because the Bible tells me. So there's words in the Bible that tell us that Jesus loved us no matter who we are. And that's how we learn about who Jesus is. So I wanted to share with you a story today. The Gospel of John calls Jesus the Word, the Word that was made flesh. So basically the word of God is Jesus in human form. So Jesus comes down on earth as flesh and bone and that's how we learn about God. And this is Trinity Sunday and, and for those of you who don't know what that means, it means that we acknowledge that God appears in three different forms. So God is God is God. God is in Jesus and God is also the Holy Spirit. So three in one. There's three different ways that we can know and come to learn about who God is. So this story, as I said, is one that talks specifically about Jesus as the Word. Good morning. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera. All right. Jesus the Word. Dun, dun, dun. And this is by uh, Mark Francesco Bazunti Jones. All right. In the beginning was the Word. Remember, the Word is Jesus. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. The Word, Jesus, made flesh and lived among us, and we have seen the glory. In the beginning, before everything, the Word lived. The Word was love. The Word was God. God's love, God's Word. In the beginning, the Word created. 
The word created heaven and earth, light and dark, sun and moon, oceans and rivers, rocks and hills, trees and flowers, animals of all kind and all people, people just like you and me. In the beginning, the word was seen and unseen. Light for all eyes, sound for all ears, scent for all noses, food for all bodies, and warmth for all creation. One with all things. The word came to earth. God's word was spoken. Spoken on mountaintops, spoken in the desert, spoken on the seas. All of creation whispered and echoed the word of God. The word of God said, I will set you free. I won't let you be anything but holy, good, and free. The word spoke through the ages for all people just like you and me. Oh, did you see the fishies? Fishies. The word came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became a child born of a woman named Mary. The word was Jesus. Jesus, the word living among us and with us, mending broken hearts, wiping tears from crying eyes, feeding the poor with bread and hope. Jesus, the word, lived among us and with us, healing the blind, the sick, making the lame walk, speaking God's love to all people. Jesus, the word, said, I will set you free. I won't let you be anything but holy, good, and free. The word spoke through the ages for all people just like you and me. But some people turned their backs on Jesus the word. They did not listen. They did not believe in him. They judged him and they nailed him to a tree. Jesus, the word, died and was buried. But on the third day, Jesus, the word, rose from the dead. The word of God says... I will set you free. I won't let you be anything but holy, good, and free. Oh, I missed a page. But the word did not leave us. Even today, the word of God forgives us, saves us, blesses us, fills us with the Holy Spirit. God, God's love lives within us. And that's why we are set free. So what did we learn in that? What are some of the things that Jesus did while on earth? We know that Jesus healed people who were sick. We know that Jesus taught people. We know that Jesus took care of people who were ignored. He talked to people that no one else would. Jesus um, did some miracles too. I don't know if you know the story about turning water into wine, but... Apparently, Jesus did that too. Um, but the best thing that Jesus did was to teach us all the best commandment, which is to love one another as we would be loved. So if we want to be treated with kindness, then we need to treat other people with kindness. If we want to be given respect, then we need to respect other people. If we want... Hmm. If we want to have people thank us for what we do, then we need to thank people for what they do. And if we want to feel good about things we do, we should make other people feel good about what they do. So this reminds me of another song, This Little Light of Mine. I'm going to let it shine. Jesus came on earth and told us that we have the light of Christ within us. We have a light that we need to share with everyone else. We need to spread that light out into the world. And that light is love. So let's sing This Little Light of Mine. So get your lights ready. So pretend you've got a little light on your, on your finger. 
So this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, and then don't hide it under a bushel. No, you're gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone blow it out. You get the idea. I hope you can do the actions with me. Want you to let your light shine. Ah. Now, what is your favorite Jesus story? Do you have a favorite one? Is it when he was born in a manger? Is it when he talked to Zacchaeus, who was this really short person who climbed up a tree and then Jesus made him and fight him over for dinner? Um, what was what is your favorite story of Jesus? Feel free to add it into the comment box. Ah. There's one hymn, it's a fun one to, to sing and dance to, that tells the whole story of Jesus' life. <clears throat> it's called, Lord of the Dance, I Danced in the Morning. So, I think we should sing this together. Wherever you may be, I don't need 
So what have we learned today? We know that we can find out more about Jesus where in the Bible? In the four Gospels, that's right, in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So you may want to check that out if you have a Bible. The other way we can learn about Jesus is through song. We've sung three songs about Jesus today. We also know that we learn about Jesus by the stories that people tell us about how Jesus has made a difference in their lives. So I encourage you to speak to your parents. Talk to your parents about who Jesus is to them. What's their favorite Jesus story? Um, let's learn from each other. So one of the things that Jesus taught us was to pray. And so we're going to take a moment to give thanks. And really, prayer is just a dialogue. Like, it's just a conversation between us and God. It's an opportunity for us to share with God things that are making us feel bad, things that we're grateful for, um, and anything we might need help with. So let's take a moment to pray with God and with Jesus. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing Jesus here on earth so that we could learn how to act and to be, so that we would remember that we, we need to love one another. We want to be loved, and if we want to be loved, then we have to love other people too. It's a relationship that we're in. And so we give you thanks for this great church that we have, for the opportunity to worship you, God. We give thanks for all our family and friends and the people who take care of us. We give thanks for teachers. We give thanks for doctors and for people who, who help heal other people. We want to remember that there is still fighting in the world, God, and that we need to, to help stop that. We need to remember that every person here is important, that they are worthy of love. They need to know that they belong. And this is a place where everyone is welcome. Help us to be Help us to take care of the earth and all of creation. Remind us to take care of any animals we have in our lives. Maybe water the grass. Remember to smell the beautiful air that we are in right now and to enjoy the heat of the sun today. May you be with us always, God, as we join together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, go into this world with the peace of Christ. Go be that light shining out in the world, spreading love and the good news that Jesus loves each one of us. All right, take care, friends. I look forward to seeing you. And remember, you are not alone. God is with you. I miss you and have a good week. We will see you next Sunday. Okay, bye.